Hola mis queridos amigos, welcome back to Learn Spanish World, Mr. Briggs here, I'm a qualified Spanish teacher and I upload videos every Friday. Today we'll be learning about Dominican Spanish, we'll travel to this Caribbean island and we'll learn about the most used word in Dominican Spanish. But before we do that, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Your subscription does matter because it helps me to continue producing free lessons for you. I upload every Friday and by subscribing you help me to continue uploading videos and producing free Spanish lessons for you. How good is that? You don't have to pay one cent and you get to learn Spanish. So please, what are you waiting for? Click the red button, subscribe and the little bell in that way you get notified every time I upload a video. Let us not waste more time and let's begin learning Dominican Spanish. Palabra número uno. Word number one. If this is your first time here, palabra means word. Now, this one is extremely popular. You will hear it. I can guarantee you 100%. Vaina. Vaina simply means a thing. Dame esa vaina. Give me that thing. You will hear this word over and over again. Vaina. It is used for a lot of different things, but it actually means thing. A thing. Palabra número dos. Word number two. Let's see. Nitido. Nitido is a word commonly used among Dominican teenagers. It means great, cool, and comes from the word neat or nitid. Nitido. Nitido. Like the Dominican Republic waters. You gotta go and check out the ocean over there. It's beautiful. Palabra número tres. Word number three. Wawa. Wawa means bus. A wawa is a bus in the Dominican Republic. Do not get confused with the wawa from other parts of Latin America. In Chile, wawa means baby, but in the Dominican Republic, it means bus. Palabra número cuatro, word number four. Let's see what is word number four. Colmado. Colmado is like a milk bar where people usually go to get milk when they run out. By the way, I hope you enjoy this footage of the Dominican Republic. This is the first time I'm using footage from the country in one of my videos. Hopefully, you'll enjoy it more. Let me know in your comments if you like me to add footage, scenes from each country that I discuss. Thank you. Palabra número cinco, word number five. Let's see what is word number five. Palabra means word. Concho. Concho is simply a taxi. If you need to catch a concho, you are requesting for a taxi. Concho, it can help you to get around the island. Concho. Palabra. Word número seis. Number six. Palabra número seis. See, you get to learn the numbers also. Carajo. Carajo is pretty much a way of saying, damn it. When somebody's a bit upset or angry, they go, carajo. Carajo. This word is also used in other parts of Latin America. Carajo. What a beautiful island with its tropical palm trees. Wow. Palabra número siete. Word number seven. Are you ready for palabra número siete? Chin. A little bit of something. Or oh, give me just a little chin. It's pretty much like a little tinge of something. Oh, just add a little, a little tinge of salt. Just a little chin of salt. A chin. Just a little bit. Palabra número ocho. Word number eight. 
Let's see what is palabra número 8. Chévere. Chévere, chévere. Cool, cool. República Dominicana is a chévere place. Chévere. And once again, this word is also used in other places such as Venezuela and other countries throughout Latin America. Chévere. Palabra número 9. Word number 9. Let's see what is palabra número 9. Palabra número 9 is papi chulo. Papi chulo means handsome guy, a hunk, someone very attractive and manly. Palabra número 10, word number 10. Wow, you're killing two birds with one shot. You're learning new words and you're revising the numbers. Manso, manso, chill, relax. Manso. It also means meek. A person who's manso is a meek person, chilled, relaxed. Manso, relax, chill, like that guy reading the newspaper. He's very manso there. He's just chilling. Manso. Fantástico, my dear amigos, queridos amigos. Now we're going to section número dos. Expresiones típicas. If you guessed it, yes, that means typical expressions. Expresiones, expressions, típicas. Typical. A uh, very common expression is te pasaste. That means you crossed the line. You went you went way too far. You do not want to cross the line. You don't want anyone to say to you te pasaste. It is a very serious thing and it's also used in other countries. Alante, alante. You're way ahead of the game. You've got the edge. If you are way ahead of something, if you are winning, alante, alante. As Charlie Sheen would have said, winning, alante, alante. The next expression, en olla. En olla means I'm broke. En olla. So if somebody doesn't have any money or is going through a difficult situation financially, you'd say, en olla. I'm broke. Next one. Siguiente. Dime a ver. That means, what's up? Dime a ver. It's a way of saying, what's up? What's happening? Dime a ver. Excelente. Continuemos. We're almost there, guys. You can do it. Only two minutes left. Me va a dar una vaina. I'm going to come down with something. See, once again, we can see here the word vaina, which means something, a thing. Me va a dar una vaina. I'm going to come down with something. If you're not feeling well, you would say, me va a dar una vaina. Que lo que, loco. Que lo que is just another way of saying, what's up? What's happening? That's right. These expressions are very popular, very common. It's because Dominican Spanish is very cool and it's got many different ways of saying the same thing. Que lo que? What's up? Dar brocha. Dar brocha means to brag, to exaggerate. Um, people puffed up with pride that are always showing off and they think they're so good. You would say that they are dar brocha, dan brocha. Siguiente. Que vaina. Once again, the word vaina. Damn, what a bunch of crap. Que vaina. It could be a little bit abrupt, a little bit rough. Que vaina. You miss the bus. Que vaina. Oh, you miss the guagua. Que vaina. No seas palomo. Don't be a coward. Don't be a chump. If there's someone you like and you're too shy, you don't want to talk to the person, your friend could say, no seas palomo, don't be a coward. 
thank you very very much for subscribing my amigos you guys are helping me so much the channel is growing and i own you one thank you for subscribing and for supporting the channel i will continue uploading and bringing some exciting new content to the channel thanks for your help and please look after yourself take care cuídate adiós